Thank you. It's 22 minutes past eight. Now, no doubt many of you are listening to us this morning in the course of a daily commuter journey, in a car, maybe on a bike, maybe on a train. Well, here's an idea that may help relieve some of the drudgery, one commuter's effort to relieve the sameness of those journeys, apart from listening to us, of course. In an attempt to break the judge, he, the drudge, he's turned his journey into an album. He was armed with a laptop and a little keyboard and inspired by the landscape between West Sussex, where he lives, and London, Steve Spiro, he calls himself frequent traveller, had the idea of transforming his train carriage, its familiar occupants and its sounds, into a little recording studio and mixing the sounds around him into music. Nicholas Stanbridge joined him on his journey to listen. Bustling through Victoria train station, music producer Steve Spiro absorbs and records announcements and commuter chatter to sample in his own compositions. The scramble to kind of get to carriage number five, because carriage number five is really good because that's exactly where I get out the other end. And I want a nice seat, so I've got plenty of room for all my kit and everything so I can get it out and make some music. Cross over the bridge and you've got this lovely view of Battersea Power Station coming into urban South London and everything. These hollow metallic noises, these clackety clacks, these are all the things you pick up on in your music. The earlier stops, Clapham and East Croydon especially, are quite pounding, they're quite fast. It's just that part of the journey, everything just kind of whirls by, you know, you just see these different vistas of offices and little gardens and things like that. I've got three pieces of primary kit. I've got my laptop, I've got a hard drive with all my sounds on it, and I've got a keyboard that I use for playing all the sounds into. What I've done quite a lot is sampled a lot of background ambience and tuned it, made it part of the music so it's in harmony. There's a, a lovely sound of this whirring that you can hear. It's really nice, it's very musical. And I had this idea one day on the train that I had this hour each side of the day where I did nothing else, I just sat here and drunk tea and read a paper or whatever and I thought it's my precious time. I'm going to write an album on this train journey. I use the Southern Rail timetable basically to map the album out. Clapham and East Croydon are so industrial and they're so hard and quite techno. Now we start introducing pianos and strings, tranquil sounds, still beats there, still kind of a bit of urban stuff going on. You know, you start getting a kind of a feel for the more lush organic stuff that's ahead of you. Upper Wallingham and Waldingham are, are beautiful and it's, this is where you start seeing the countryside. It's a very big transition landscape that's outside the window, lots of trees, it's very lush, it's very green. And my hallelujah moment I think is her screen to Lingfield. That's, you know, that's Babylon basically, that part of the journey. That's when you start seeing livestock. <laughs> it's, it's like sheep and cows and proper countryside. It's a completely different world that you can immerse yourself in. Yeah. I've got these really fantastic headphones that I use there. They're actually noise-cancelling headphones. Put them on and the whole world disappears, basically. It's really good. This train journey for me is, is that transition. It's that time where you change persona from being this hectic, mad, rushed-office person into kind of go, hi, I'm home, slippers on, dinner, and everything's calm and lovely now. And all I want to do is get home. Listen, I didn't grow up in, a, in, in the Cotswolds or anything. I grew up in, in a small flat in Swiss Cottage on a roundabout, and all I ever saw were cars and traffic for the first 12 years of my life. For the last five years of my life, I've actually lived in what I consider to be countryside. It's my personal countryside. I love it. Totally different and diverse to what my day experience is in urban London. So that's it. That's what I try to capture on it. Our next station stop is East Grinstead, where this service will terminate. Steve Spiro with Nicola Stanbridge on his commuter train. It's now 26 minutes past eight. Got news that the RAC has been...